Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. This is Megatrain, and I'm back on Project Ozone Light. Um, we have perfect fishing weather. Um, you always get better results uh, fishing when it's raining. So I am taking advantage of it here. Um, apologize for the gap between episodes here. I was recovering from uh, cold that kind of went longer than I expected it to. But I'm back uh, to normal here and um, following up with where we left off. Uh, one of the last things that we were doing is um, in Batania, um, trying to get to a certain point so that we could um, make some uh, make some stuff. So, ooh, power four, nice, nice, nice. So fishing in uh, in this particular mod pack, uh, I'm getting a lot of vanilla results. I'm getting just a handful. Of, uh, of modified stuff like this plastic bag. Woohoo! Um, what's different is I'm getting all sorts of crazy fish. Um, and eel and octopus and stuff like that. Um, now you can use these to, uh, to make all sorts of um, food dishes. Uh, you can make fish trap bait. Um, but for almost all of them, you can put them in your crafting bit grid and convert them back to normal raw fish, which is actually what I need because I'm going to be making uh, these guardian chunks because I need to uh, then make some guardian seeds. So we need um, to make the guardian seeds, we need four chunks. Uh, to make those chunks, we need eight fish and eight prismarine shards. We made the prismarine shards last time. Uh, what we need, though, um, is the fish and these tier three mob chunks. So uh, I can take some of the, the raw fish that I've made here, but I'm going to also take uh, some of my extra um, grouper and maybe a couple of tuna. And I will just put those into my crafting grid and convert those to normal raw fish. Um, almost everything um, that uh, that in the Harvest Craft mod pack um, will convert to normal fish. The difference are the exceptions are these three down here: raw jellyfish, raw octopus, and raw eel. Um, do not convert into normal fish. So we'll take our fish, um, we'll take our prismarine shards, and we need to get some mob chunks. So a mob chunk is uh, a special rare drop that you get from a specific weapon, from uh, a solium dagger, which you can make with some solium ingots uh, and a mystical tool rod. Um, you can also put the solium... Um, into your smeltery and make a tool that way, but I just did it the easy way here. Um, and the idea is that um, uh, every once in a while, you're going to get some drops here. Let me turn these off. And I'll just sit here and whack some of these guys. Okay, I've turned this back off to reduce the lag. And we'll see what we've got. We've got some Tier 3 Skeleton Chunks, uh, some Tier 1 Zombie Chunks, some Tier 3 Creeper Chunks, uh, Wither Skeleton, and some Experience Chunks. So, uh, obviously, um, these can be used directly to craft things like Zombie Seeds, which I don't need and I don't care about. But you can also uh, smelt these into just... Um, generic tier, uh, tiered mob chunks. So um, if you do that with a skeleton chunk, um, you'll go straight to mob three, and then I can make the one that I want. So um, that's the guardian chunk that I need. Uh, if you absolutely needed to, you can take the zombie chunks, you can make the tier ones, um, and then you can actually ramp up um, with some predentum to tier two and then uh, to tier three that way. So there's other ways to get there, but you need to start with uh, a solium dagger uh, and get yourself some chunks. So let's go smelt up some skeleton chunks and we'll make some seeds. 
All right, I stopped and uh, stopped by and picked up my prismarine shards uh, from my other level there. Um, we'll grind these guys up, and that's not working. Is this even enabled? Extract always active. Why is that working? Well, that worked. Have you even... Oh, well, that'll do it. I guess I haven't even used these since I moved moved these things around. All right, I got my four uh, mob chunks there. We will convert those into the guardian chunks. Uh, four guardian chunks, and we need uh, a tier. What is it? Tier three crafting seed. So um, one of the things I did when I moved everything around is uh, tried to make sure everything was in the place that I need it. So I can just grab a seed from here and some shards from here. And one, two, three, four of those. One, two, three, four of those. One, two, three, four of those. Craft that up into a base seed. And a tier one. And a tier two. Oh, I'm going to need four more of these. Uh, one, two, three, four. And there we go. Let's go ahead and head over to our... Um, uh, farm Island. I'll sleep first, um, and then we'll get these things planted up. I have taken the opportunity to rearrange my farm a little bit here. Um, the bottom level is all Inferium now. Those are level 6 seeds. Um, second level is kind of a mix of different items. Uh, third level is mostly Nether Quartz, although I carved out a corner here and planted my new guardian seeds here. We don't have a second one yet, so we can't um, put it here into the uh, the farming station to have it automatically plant yet. And the fourth level is all emerald. Um, there were quite a few different types that I went ahead and pulled out. Um, I have pretty much all of the water essence and fire essence that I'm ever going to need throughout the entire game, so I don't need to continue to use my um, farm space to keep those planted. Um, we do have some of the uh, Guardian Essence uh, coming in. Um, but while we're waiting for, for those to continue growing, let's do the rest of our ingredients here. Um, for the first level um, of the Growth Crystal, um, the Sea Lantern was the part that we needed the most. Uh, these are just compressed bone blocks that we've got oodles of. Um, this is dirty glass, so soul sand and any glass. And of course we can make soul sand with nether essence, of which we have oodles. So let's grab a couple stacks of that. Uh, nope, that's fertilized dirt. I can't use that. And we'll make a few of those. Do not put that in there. Do 60 and 60 and 60 should be plenty. And let's go ahead and make what do I call it? Dirty glass. There we go. Um, I don't want that much, so let's do one stack for this side. And one stack for that side. And that's going to give us basically an entire stack once we get enough of this, um, this Guardian Essence 
to do what we need here. All right, let's see what we got of this so far. Oh, that's not bad. So stripe across the middle gives us shards, and four in the corner gives us crystals. Dink. There we go. And we'll make a couple of these already. We'll make a few more of these and uh, speed up our process. So let's put these around here since this is where our other ones are growing. Oops. Lag. Right there. Right there. And I'll stick one under here as well. So I did figure out one uh, way to make these things grow faster. I am getting uh, a good supply building up here. Uh, the fertilized essence, which is one of the side effect items uh, in all our crops, uh, we can just apply that directly to these things and grow these up right away. So if you've got some extra fertilized essence, you can use that to get a good initial start on these things here. Um, we'll continue to let these things grow. Um, I've got um, quite a few of the crystals and shards already. Um, and I've also crafted uh, some of the end crystals that I'm going to need to take these all to tier two. One thing I have uh, an issue with right now is I am uh, pretty low on my mana infused or mithril ingots. So um, I'm not sure. I may actually make some mithril seeds as well um, just to increase the rate at which I get those. All right, we should have enough of our um, Guardian Essence to finish this off here. Oop, that popped over in here into my next table, which is exactly what I wanted, actually. Uh, if I move a few of these over, that gives me a bunch of sea lanterns. Pick up my extras here. Put my sea lanterns and make uh, my Tier 1 Growth Crystals. Uh, I did a bunch of additional sifting and got a bunch more mana-infused ingots. So I have pretty much of growth crystals tier 2. Um, let me actually go and pick up the remaining ones here. Uh, well, I'll update those in a second. But uh, here's basically my plan. On every floor, um, I'm going to be placing... Um, one in each corner and one uh, and four in the center so basically eight on a level and because we know that they um, check up uh, five blocks up or down basically um, every um, plant is going to have uh, a lot of uh, growth crystals around it to make it work so let me get those in place Well, now we may see the start of some of our lag issues here. We've got all these uh, all these growth crystal tier twos in place, a whole bunch on each level. I had plenty left over, so I did the both the corners and the edges, um, and I did basically between each layer and above the top layer, and I actually went down uh, below the bottom layer. And I ended up with six extra. So uh, we have quite a few. Um, as far as the rate of, uh, of production here, um, you probably can't tell because you haven't just sat here and watched them. But um, I can tell you that it's uh, I see a visible difference. One of the ways to tell is that basically it's like, okay, how many of these things get full growth by the time the harvest comes back around? Um, and there's a lot, lot more that get um, completely grown to the next level 
um, by the time uh, the the farm uh, the farming station comes back around to harvest. Um, so we've definitely filled out all of our um, guardian seeds by this point, um, and we've got you know several hundred of the guardian essence. And now that we've used them, um, I don't know that we need a ton more, but we'll let that stack up a little bit just in case we have uh, any additional use for those. Um, but uh, we've accomplished at least one goal here, uh, which is what we set out to do, um, and that is to get all of our um, growth crystals uh, working on our farm. Back over on the main island here, you can see the rate at which our inferior essence is uh, flowing in. Uh, my other farm, my mob farm, is turned off at the moment, so this is just um, from the Mystical Agriculture Farm. And it's definitely coming in faster than it was. It's hard to quantify that, but it's definitely, um, definitely producing more than it was. Um, I have already finished, filled up the bottom three essence levels here. Um, we're continuing to rack up the Superium and Supremium. Um, and this has been a bit of a shorter episode, but I think that's all that we're going to do today. Um, next time we will uh, work on the other Botania components that we will need uh, to make the Master Infusion Crystal. So um, no uh, loot boxes to open, um, but um, we will get some to do next time. And we will see you then. Thanks for watching.